Hey, 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 Jay. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I bet you won't say Tyson smell like soggy onions and monkey cheeks. I bet you, I bet you won't. I bet you won't. <laughs> say less. Hey, Tyson. Look at this dude. Yeah. Man, that dude ugly. Man, working at McDonald's was hands down my least favorite job to work. I, like at the least. Like, bro, the managers there were so disrespectful and didn't care about nothing you did right. The coworkers there were cool for sure, but the managers were just. McDonald's was my first real job at 16, and the reason that I say real is because I had past jobs, but they were associated with a third-party program that would let you work at the low age of 13, but you had to follow a certain rule, which is a whole different story. McDonald's like that last piece of bread that you get after everybody has taken every other perfectly cut, delicious, crispy, tasty, mouth-watering, <coughs> My bad, but you get what I'm trying to say. Everybody get that nice, tasty bread, and you get that dried up, nasty, poopy bread which tastes like garbage, by the way. McDonald's is just like that. But 15 times worse, like. Too much worse. The ones I live around be ghetto, stanky, greasy, dirty. Oops, wrong picture. Rusty, and just not recommendable at all, my guy. And to top it all off, the managers were mean as ish. Like, they always complain about how they have to complain about complaining. They treat you like trash. They make you clean up the trash and call you trash. Like, I was cool with all my co-workers though, and one of them was basically my best friend. Like, this guy, I'ma call him Jay because I'm not trying to expose him, you feel me? But basically, me and him was homies. Like, we always would talk about anything and would just laugh and troll all day. Like, all day. <laughs> hey, 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 Jay. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I bet you won't say Tyson smell like soggy onions and monkey cheeks. I bet you, I bet you won't. I bet you won't. <laughs> say less. Hey, Tyson. Look at this dude. Yeah. Man, that dude ugly. Got you in 4K, boy, with your ugly. <laughs> 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 that boy smell like doodoo crumbs. <laughs> Thank you, booty I remember one of the old managers that quit a little while I was working, they would always try me. Like always until she couldn't anymore. Every day she would tell me to do tedious tasks that she normally wouldn't do to help pass time and to just basically get them out the way. Like doing dishes or help sweeping slash mopping, stuff like that. The thing is though, she's petty like really petty. If you try to Bruh. talk back or try to one up her, she's going to make sure she get back at you. She's exactly what you call Hey, one of those. She's for sure hey, one of those, my guy. No one way. of those. One thousand percent. So basically, every time I would unintentionally make her upset about anything, she would make me do these elaborate things just to get back at me. But even knowing everything that I just said, she still wasn't even the worst manager. Not even close. Comparing her to the worst manager there make her look like a saint. I might be going cat. The worst manager there was so much more petty. So much more selfish and just, just plain evil. Like, oh my, it was just evil. My God, what she was doing to me? Now I'm not trying to play the victim or nothing, but one time I remember when I was doing the dishes, when all of a sudden she called my name and said, "Come here right now." I'm like, what Bruh. did I do? You mean, like, what did I do now? As I'm walking across the restaurant, I could see her and she didn't look happy at all. Her face was looking pretty red and looked like she wanted to kill me. I'm like, bruh. Because I literally had no clue why she was mad and didn't feel like arguing at all at that point. Some of my managers were just staring, but I knew they were contemplating on screaming for help because they knew just how angry our manager was. It's like, I'm usually the one that always get yelled at. 
I saw Jay face and that man went into laugh so bad, but he tried to hold it in. And I'm not even gonna lie either though. When I seen him last time went into laugh, it low key almost made me bust out laughing, but I held my composure though. As I got closer to her though, she said in a very angry voice. I can really embarrass you in front of everybody right now. Sincere. Hey yo, what the fuck? Man, as she said that, I'm just looking distraught like a deer in headlights. I ain't gonna hold you because I'm completely confused on what I even did, why she even would say something like that to me. She then told me to get ready to go home. I'm not working the rest of the day and then I'm leaving early. I left that day not knowing what I even did, but I didn't even say nothing about it to my mom or my dad because I didn't think it was that big of a deal, and knowing them, they would have most definitely tried to start something. I didn't even have time for that, you feel? Yeah, ay, yeah, yeah, ay. It's sincere, I don't want to hear no more rapping no more. Hey, man, Stop it. Wait, but coach, I said I don't want to hear it, and I mean it, so stop it right now. Bruh. All right, whatever. If you guys enjoy this animation, man, this is my second animation, and I'm already thinking I'm a YouTuber, you feel me? Dang. But hey, though, I wanted to add just a little spice to the video and just add different aspects of the inside of the animation that I hope you guys like. But hey, make sure y'all keep adding constructive criticism on what I should add or fix or take out to help me out and to give y'all better content in the future because at the end of the day, I'm nothing without y'all, so I'm gonna need y'all. Only like this video if you actually enjoyed it because I'm not trying to see y'all liking this video, but y'all thinking it's mediocre or didn't really deserve it or anything like that. I'm just getting in tune into YouTube, so I'm trying to make it big. But I'm gonna need y'all, and I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. Like this video, I'm gonna need y'all to help spread this channel and just, you know, so we can just get it popping. You feel me? But hey, though, I gotta leave and make more fire videos, so stay tuned for just stay tuned for me. You feel me? I'll see y'all again in a bit.